Hey guys, here's lesson 5-8, solve real world problems, interpret remainders, and division problems. Today our I can statement is I can use division and interpret any remainder to solve multi-step problems. So basically we're taking all that we've learned with dividing and we're figuring out what do I do with this remainder? Is the remainder my answer? Is the remainder not my answer? Is something else my answer? And I apologize if you hear whining in the background chip decided to come to work with me today and she is not happy right now okay so let's start with this problem it says a library needs to purchase storage containers to hold their collection of 15,468 dvds they have a choice between two types of containers type a and type b which type of container should they buy so then it gives us this table down here. It says type A holds 75 DVDs and it costs $55. And type B holds 45 DVDs, but it costs $35. So we need to figure out which one of those is going to be the best for this library to buy. It says when you divide and get a remainder, remember that you need to check for reasonableness and consider what the remainder means. So let's go ahead and set this problem up. We have a total of 15,468 DVDs and let's divide it. Let's start with type A if we have 75 DVDs. Okay. Let's see how many of these um, containers we would need. So we know that 75 cannot go into one. It cannot go into 15, but 75 can go into 154. How many times? Two times. If you didn't know that off the top of your head, you could also come over to the side and multiply. I do know that two times 75 is 150. So I'm gonna subtract it and I'm left with four. Then I'm gonna bring down my six. Remember, this is one of those steps that a lot of people mess up. Once you bring this down, 75 will not go into 46. So I'm gonna put my zero up here because it goes into it zero times. Zero times 75 is zero. Subtracted, I'm still left with 46. Then I bring down my eight. Now, how many times will 75 go into 468? Well, I think it might go in it about five times. So over here to the side, I'm going to do 75 times five. Let's see what that gives me. So I know that 25, that's 25. Regroup my two. Five, seven times five is 35 plus two is 37. I don't think that's close enough. I think I'm gonna need to get a little bit closer. So now I'm gonna do 75 times six. Five times six is 30, regroup. Seven times six is 42, plus three is 45. I think that's gonna be much closer. I don't think I can do it again. So I think it's gonna be six. So it goes into it six times. 75 times six is 450, we just found subtracted and I'm left with 18. Now, I want you to think about this. We would have to buy, we couldn't just leave that remainder. We would need to buy another container to hold that. So we would have 206 plus an additional one to hold the remaining. So if we did type A, we would need 207. Okay, so that's how many we'd, we would need to buy. So now we're gonna do the same thing with type B. So we're gonna come over to the side. This one will only hold 45 DVDs. So I'm gonna do the same thing. 45 and then 1,500, sorry, 10, 15,468. I got that all messed up. I know that 45 won't go into one, 45 won't go into 15, but 45 will go into 154. How many times? Well, I know that's about 15, or that's about 50, so I think it might go into it three times. So let me multiply, what is 45 times three? And this is, remember, this is, you're just gonna have to take them step by step because these are those you're gonna have to take a little bit long it's not gonna be a right there answer you're gonna have to do a lot of problem solving with this four times three is 12 plus one is 13 that's 135 I know I'm not gonna be able to get another one in there so that's gonna be three 
Remember, that's above your 4 because we're doing it into 154. So 3 times 45 we said was 135. We're going to subtract it. I can't do that, so cross out my 5, make it a 4. Now I have 14. 14 minus 5 is 9, and that's a 1. So I have 19, so now I bring down my 6. 45 can go into 196. I think it's going to go more than 3 times, so I'm going to do 45 times maybe 4. That's going to be 20. That's 16, 17, 18. That's 180. I don't think it's going to go another time, so I'm going to put my 4. 4 times 45, we said was 180. Subtract it, and I'm left with 16. Bring down my 8. Now, I know it's not going to go into it four times, so I'll we'll have to go into it three times. And three times 45 is 135. So I'm going to subtract that, and I'm left with 6 minus that's 3. And I know that 33 is less than 45, so that works. Now, again, we see the same problem. We have 343, but we have a remainder. So we're going to have to add in another container because this is 343 containers that we need, but we can't just leave the extra DVDs on the side. So we're going to have to add another container. So that gives us 344 containers. Now, we are not done. Now we have to multiply the price of each type, so we have $55 for each um, container for here, but there's 207, so we're gonna multiply and see how much it's gonna cost for this one, and then we're gonna do the same thing for type B. So now we have an additional step, we're actually multiplying this time to figure out what our total cost would be. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that on your own, and then I'm gonna get you to check your work. So go ahead, pause video, and check. Alright, so this is what I got. I got $11,385. If you multiply the cost of each one times you need 207 of them, you're going to get $11,385. Same thing for B, $35 each, you need 344, you get $12,040. So type A would be the one you would choose because you want the one that's going to have the cheaper option. All right. Again, this are going to take some of these are going to take a lot of process. This took a lot of work for me to do. Um, so you're going to need lots of scratch paper. So if you know yourself and you know you're not going to be able to fit all your work in, go ahead and go grab your scratch paper right now. All right, on the next page, we see, we're just going to look at this one. We're not really doing anything for this one. Students in Elena's class are selling t-shirts for $15 at a fundraiser. Um, a class has the class has a goal to sell at least two thousand dollars worth of t-shirts. So far, the students have sold three hundred forty-five dollars worth of t-shirts. How many t-shirts do they still need to sell to reach their goal? So to find this out, you would have your two thousand dollars minus three hundred and forty-five. That's how much they've already sold, which would give you one thousand six hundred fifty-five. So you would take that and then divide the cost of each shirt, which was fifteen dollars. So that would be 110 and then 5 fifteenths. But because they can't sell 5 fifteenths of a t-shirt, you would have to sell an additional shirt to do that. So you would have to do 111 t-shirts to make that money. Okay. All right, let's go to number four on the next page. I'm going to pause it real quick so that I can get a scrap piece of paper. All right, got my scrap paper. Now, let's go ahead and do number four. Kona works at a bakery. She baked 3,308 muffins. She displayed the muffins on trays that each hold 12 muffins. How many trays did Kona use to display her muffins? Okay, so we have 3,308 muffins. Okay. And she, each of the displays are going to hold 12 muffins. Our question says, how many trays did Kona need to display the muffins? So we're dividing our total amount by 12. So we have 3,308 muffins 
dividing that by 12. I know that 12 won't go into 3, but 12 will go into 33. It'll go into it 2 times. 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract it, and I'm left with 9. Then bring down my 0. 12 will go into 90 how many times? 7 times. 7 times 12 is 84. Subtract it, I'm left with 6. Bring down my 8. 12 will go into 68 five times. Five times 12 is gonna be 60, and you'll have eight left over. Now, let's re before we write down our answer, we gotta reread our question. It says she's working at this bakery, baked this many muffins. She displayed the muffins on trays that each hold 12 muffins. How many trays did she need to display the muffins? Well, 275 trays will evenly display this amount, but we also have these eight extras. So we can't just have 275, we're gonna have to add an additional tray. So we would need 276 trays. you need to be able to display all the muffins, not just the ones that are doing it evenly. You're gonna need an extra muffin, or an extra tray, not an extra muffin. All right, let's do, we're gonna do one more in together and then I'll let you do some independently. So it says an athletic director has $1,024 to spend on new uniforms. Each uniform costs $65. How many uniforms can the athletic director buy? So we have $1,024 to spend on a new uniforms. Each of them is gonna cost $65. So we're dividing that between by the cost of each uniform, which is $65. Okay, so I know that 65 cannot go into one. It can't go into 10, but it can go into 102. And I know it'll only go into it one time. So one times 65 is 65. Then I have to subtract it. I'm going to cross out my 10 and make it a 9. Now I have 12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 6 is 3, so I have 37 left over. Bring down my 4. Now 65 going into 374. I don't know that off the top of my head, but this is close to 70, and this would be close to 350, so I'm thinking it's about five times, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna to go to the side and multiply 65 times five. That's gonna be 25. Regroup, six times five is 30, plus two is 32. So that's two, 325. It will not go into it in another time, so that is going to be five. Five times 65 is 325. Subtract it, cross out my seven, make it a six. Now I have 14. 14 minus five is nine. That would be four, zero. So I would have a remainder of 49. So how many uniforms can the athletic director buy with that 200? This is how much he has. That's the total amount he has. If each uniform costs $65, how much can he buy? Well, with the amount that he has, he can only buy 15 uniforms. This one, you're not going to use that remainder. You're not gonna to have to get an additional uniform because you don't have enough money for that. So you're only figuring out how many you can buy with the amount of money that you have. So you can only buy 15 uniforms. Okay. All right, so now, on your own, I want you to try number six, number seven, flip to the back, do number eight, number nine, 13, and 14, okay? So there's a lot of word problems, so this might take a little time, and you know what, that's fine, just take your time and make sure you work through these problems, guys. All right. Good luck.